what are you looking for now in a partner for me it would always be like it has to have the same thing personality and life like long-term relationship qualities you know at the end of the day if i'm fully committed they should be fully committed in that respect i don't like materialistic things i hate people mm. like that so it's just being honest about your intentions and just, so being, just keep, break it, keep honesty, it simple what else yeah. honesty honesty integrity is the same thing isn't it but talk like getting to know each other open you know like open to like you know not judgmental we don't want you know people nitpicking small things are oh, and all that and um, that's about it you know even if like the best thing the best kind of dates in my opinion are the ones where you go for a walk in the park imagine yeah. that if you don't go in a restaurant you have to you have to eat food that keeping you forced to you... talk man yeah yeah, yeah yeah go to walk in a park that's what covid has done and that is good yeah, yeah, yeah. i think a lot of no, people should do that because mm. if you can't hold a conversation yourself then... and also bumping big thing look at yourself and that's it mm. amrit you fire away man depends what, what you guys want to know though ask a question and i'll respond to that because i'll the genuine uh, question what's yeah. your concept what's your like? approach what's, what's your approach what's your approach to dating how's it been for you like in general? how's it been so when i was dating right um it was <laughs> first of all it was one of them where, where i had to connect with the person i had this thing about i actually had to connect connect in the sense of like banter's on point um mm. I, ability to for me I, for oh, me yeah, yeah, yeah. i like a woman that can hold herself like she 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 knows what she's doing type of thing you know like she knows what she carries she herself, she, she very carries well. herself very well social etiquette's on point literally literally just that yeah. um so if they take two, both of those boxes then okay cool well we can date we can we can have like yep. a you know that's see, the prerequisite and all that. yeah mm-hmm. literally um yeah. so that's sort of like the starting point um and then probably i'm not gonna lie i don't usually do like i'm not i'm not the type of guy that would do dates like dinner dates type of thing it's sort of like an activity either like you know either walking in the park or like bowling or you know just sort of something that's like Pay, paintball fun. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I haven't mm-hmm. been on paper one yet, though. But, <laughs> but no, um, it's just sort of like trying to get to know um, the values of the individual, right? <laughs> That's it. Um, That's if the it, values man. of the individual doesn't resonate with me, then you know I'm I'm dipping. I'm safe. I'm cool. Like, if you I've, hold that philosophy for everything you do in life, you will have. A you'll good be life. good, man. Honestly, right? That's this it. is what I teach in my coaching, man. It's this. Yeah. When we talk about arranged marriages, we talk about all this stuff, right? What parents are doing in Bajorle and all these people, they're mm. using these surrogate markers for what they actually want to assess, which is values. What yeah. they what they derive is, oh, he's a dentist, therefore his value must be this, this, and this. That's but it's it. bullshit, man. The Amen. only way you can know someone's values is if you have conversations and that done over time has to be tested by exactly. time. That's exactly. That's the metric, right? Yeah. That, but if you use that with people you want to do business with, people you want to hang around with, your sangat, yeah. you will find your tribe, man. His values, literally, everything comes Literally. And the thing is, I learned that the hard way. So I was... I, I, I was best in, teacher, I was, best I was teacher. In a, uh, literally, yeah, I was... Yeah. I was in a relationship where it was not that great. It was it was something where it was just horrible and like you know it, it, all of these type of things just sort of hit me instantly after I like was free from that relationship. I was like, you know what, I don't want to be in this relationship no more. Da da da. And then yeah. after that, instantly, I was like, you know what, now I'm gonna have time for myself, right? Mm-hmm. But I know now what type of things I need to go through. It's not like a proper like checklist, checklist, but it is a checklist. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of is a checklist though because yeah. you need to think in your head like, all right, I've mm-hmm. had that bad experience. Yeah. The thing is, well, what in that experience mm-hmm. caused me to have that? How can I avoid that mm-hmm. in the future? What's the precursors yeah, I can yeah, pick yeah. out to then see? All right, say, fuck that off. What's the next <coughs> thing that I need to see? The, What's the red flag that's going to stop me from getting in that situation again? Exactly. Mm. I just want to drop in my line. I was also I mean, when I was dating with Ganabana, you know, which oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. but like what I want to take my take on the whole thing about relationship is come from my job where I'm working because I work in domestic violence and domestic abuse. So right. me, yeah, I, my mind is changed a lot from my job. Skewed so it. it's messed up because obviously I see <laughs> all I see every day is broken relationships. All I see oh, is right. people toxic problems where the origins and i'm learned a lot from my cases and everything i deal with so then i applied that when i actually started out dating and what i actually wanted so i spent a lot of time in covid working on myself where my faults are and working on you know like controlling your anger the ability to just to take a deep Ooh. breath and not how react. did you work on it how did you work well on it? it's just first of all realizing myself like how i was 
as a person. So, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty calm person anyway. I don't react. I'm not impulsive when I react. Right. So yeah. I actually listen, understand, and then take my time to think. Uh, then I react. So that's how I realized that over COVID. So why do I only learn from my cases because I don't want to be like those abusers. The yeah. stories I hear that helped me, gave me a kick up my ass, like small things like, you know, using if you call a girl like a slag or slut, what they actually, what impact it has on a woman. Because mm. most victims I have are female, right? So they tell me what it, right. Right. It, how it hits them and controlling behavior like not being a psych crazy boyfriend not controlling them where they're going who they're going always thinking in their minds another guy out there even vice versa if a girl paranoia. thinks in that way mm. paranoia mm. eliminate all that you know giving each other space but also you know being affectionate these these balances that you gotta have mm. right and accepting that you know you don't want to be even if you don't example i'll like say oh, a lot of guys would say oh, at least i don't hit her but they forget Ooh. Yeah. Oh, should, we, should we give you an MBE? That's, 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 that's that, 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 that at least, yeah. yeah. I have Jesus. male victims that literally least. say that. Yeah, at least I don't hit like, her. Like that's the benchmark her. for you know. I'm like, well done. Do you want an MBE for that? Well done. But the thing mm. is, yeah, if you control, like most women, they one thing they really get like, affected by is controlling behavior and emotional abuse. They the violence is normal. They actually rather take violence over controlling. It, but we'll go like that's a big topic. But that yeah. helped me break it down and this is why i said you know like you know any girl that i was dating in the past it was like it's about reward it's about looking at good behavior mm. you gotta look at behavior how they treat you that is what my opinion is the Period. core goal core thing for a long-term relationship if yeah. someone doesn't treat you well in good or bad days bad days mm. especially then like, yeah. exactly and but the problem is be, yeah God. auntie and uncle reciprocation auntie uncle I don't blame the old generation. They were uneducated. They didn't have money, they but they have long-term relationships. They don't know etiquette stuff like that. Some of them got through it because of the cultural problems. They didn't want to take a divorce. <coughs> you don't get divorced. Were, yeah. yeah, honor killings and all the rest. Exactly. Of it. That rock I was at the other day. These, these, yeah, like, we had some old dudes in the room, and they were telling me yeah, stories yeah. about when they were growing up. People were married. Listen to this: doing lava, okay, proper mm. nanta college, age three and four years old. Muklava, they call it, like, isn't it? Muklava. Right, but yeah, yeah. yeah. and then, cool. then they're like, but then they wouldn't do, they wouldn't be like married, like properly married off. No, they can't like, see each other till the wedding day. They can't see each other, but they promise to each other and there's all this yeah. stuff. And you're absolutely right in what you say there. It's this the generation now is that you, they just don't take shit, man. But the thing is you about generation generation now, the, the back then, the older generation mentality was you make the relationship work. Now, well, I get where you come Work on it. There's yeah. certain levels, right? If it's abusive, yeah. though, you can't yeah. make it work anymore. If someone's not hitting you, or oh, someone's not be, being toxic, you know, uh, it's very difficult to explain anything. We'll be here all day. If someone's being toxic, mm -hmm. then yeah, you can't make it work. Divorce is a solution. Sometimes it's small tiffs, right? You might have an issue where, you know, I don't know, maybe she dressed a little bit, you know, out there, right? You know, maybe she wears, right, wears Western right. clothing, right? That's resolvable. It doesn't need to go to divorce. You know what I'm saying? But people catastrophize, so, catastrophize. Yeah. That's so normal. it's just that yeah. ability people nowadays have lost it because we just see the quick solution and what does it come out. back to man communication mm. again the ability to communicate boys the, the, the one of the biggest things i learned man i was on the spiritual retreat a couple of years ago yeah it's called the five languages of love if you haven't seen it google it and just look it up no right like down, game, 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 oh, right down man. genuinely game yeah you know what it, it is it is a massive <coughs> one man because if you boys figure that out if you figure out which love language your your partner actually wants yeah. Your relationship becomes a lot easier. This because is then, you, because then you know, hmm. if I How? do this, it, it's going to upset their love language. If I don't do this, it's going to upset mm. their love language. So mine is service, right? If you do something for me, I'll love you forever. Sachi. That's how what I am. Because because he, he appreciates that. <laughs> I appreciate someone doing something for me. I don't care about you saying affectionate stuff to me. It, it just doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. So but if you say that to me. Yeah, that is okay. fantastic. If you do that for me, that is perfect for me. Yeah. Right? I, I think dating gear, what people are looking at is all wrong. Like jobs don't matter, education don't matter, uh, height don't matter, sometimes look don't even matter until the, when you actually bark together for that, when you actually live with them or getting in a relationship, the, the one thing you actually focus on is behavior. But no one looks at that. That's the least thing. That's the because initial retraction is always physical. It's you always can't the, figure out how the behavior unless you live with them. Yeah, and the dating coaches yeah. that are out there are spewing stuff that are ne are the wrong things. They're saying alpha male personality, be like this, be like that. You're not being yourself though, because when you become Authentic. yourself, 
yeah. then that's why the honeymoon period is six months kind of break because of the people that you're not being yourself you from day one. that behavior and then they go back into whatever it is. Bro, I should be a life mean? coach, man. Guys, can you just charge, <laughs> I charge like, I charge five grand here. Yeah? Or you know, but, like, but I, this is what I've, this is what I've learned in my job every day. And that's, that's Bro, all this, all this alpha male shit, right? That's just tips from guys to just bang bear girls. That's but, literally. But no, no, no. But you forgot one thing. Is. This is what girls like though. The attraction That's what is. they like. Yeah. Because the attraction is they like male that are dominant. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it goes, it goes that, back to I, that. I don't know, that a little bit. Yeah, like, let's say Dude, a vast... you, know what, you know what I realized? I, I realized that actually girls at a certain point in their life do like that, right? But actually, yeah. as they get older and they actually look at what kind of life do I actually want? I want the most yeah. girls want a comfortable life, they want to go on holidays. It's not mm. like this bad boy bullshit. You want someone actually who makes pee, has time for me. You know, that's that's literally that's what it comes down to when somebody who spent a meaningful amount of time with me. So I think it phases out. I think I used to have that man when I was at school and I was like, I'm the guy yeah. here, I'm the doctor. Why are these good young going after this next bandai? I can't even spell his name. Alpha doesn't make sense. Doesn't yeah, it doesn't make sense, right? But then I look at him like, where is he in his life now? Where am I? But now? the thing is, you have to forget dating a lot of the out there, what I could what people see is be they Ooh. tell men or other dating coaches saying be an alpha male, take yeah. charge, be like that, and, and they have to Yeah, be but the difference that is way. it's you know the line saying? between confidence see, being confident is very sexy. So uh, uh I mean what you talked about there about how a lady carries herself, right? In the same vein, ladies love it when a man can carry himself, whole conversation take lead but without making the lady subservient that's super sexy mm. man right dirty but there's a line is there's a line <laughs> there's a line isn't there there's a line alpha male is, is yeah it's just a, it's a toxic it has toxic <laughs> no but the, abuse, is good the abusers are like alpha males. are those are those yeah, yeah. so you have to yeah. create a very fine line and i've always talked about that that mm. this psychology is very dangerous and we need to eradicate it but but you know, and, you know the you thing know is mean? is that like uh, if if we look at dating in general obviously this is like the, the, the points that we're giving off is a very like mature way of going about it because yeah of course if, it if, is. If, if, if you look at the actual reality of like how younger people go for dating right mm. because I'm not gonna lie. For me, at the moment of I am in my life, right? I've uh, okay, I've got a girlfriend, right? You know, we're, we're in a good relationship, right? And it's sort of like I'm drifting off in a, I'm sort of like leaving behind the 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 fast dating type of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, but the, if you look at the dating, sort of like when uni, like the first year, second year, um, like that that thing is is it's very very lust orientated. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna lie, right? Yeah, yeah, if you look at it, it's like. Yeah, right. Of course it is, bro. It's... Because if you look at it, people are alone. Mm. They're up. They're up wherever the fuck they are at uni and halls. Yeah. They've got all this freedom that they didn't have at yard. So they're like, "Yo, I can do all these things now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Away I'm from take as many drugs parents. as I want. Yeah. I'm gonna shag as many girls as I want. I'm gonna drink as much as I want. Like people overcompensate massively for not being it? able to it's do it. And, exactly. and the thing is, the thing is, I I, I realized at this moment where like there was this. I wasn't like dating this girl, but it was like sort of like potential, right? Um, and I realized that like, you know, I, I sort of had this moment where I clicked and I was like, actually, are you talking to me in the sense of like, this, is there like a potential or something like going on forward? Or is it purely because of aesthetics and just like the last moment, mm. right? Mm. And when I deep that, I was like, actually, hold on a second, I'm right. You know, you got to reevaluate. That was like a click click thing for me. Yeah, and yeah. Now I'm going to lie, that moment, my that my concept of dating changed as well again that was i've got to say for someone your age man you're incredibly mature honestly it's 22 quite, yeah it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's wild, round of applause man hold on, hold on. Sachi, 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 it's Sachi, actually bro. wild to, thank like, you for not that being a like, boy yeah, yeah, exactly that's no no i was i was i ain't gonna lie i was a fuck boy brother i ain't gonna lie i've got to admit it recovery yeah 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 i've got to be honest man but but at that moment when i was like you know if some girl's doing that and like you know it's it's purely because of like the stakes and like for the we say this in the Bane Senior podcast, right? We say for the talk, right? Which is mm. just just for the intercourse, right? Yeah. Then that's mm. it. It's just mm. I don't know. It just changed my it changed my mindset completely. Mm. Tinder is probably it depends what you want. It's your intention. That's what Amri used yeah. to say a lot. It's about your intentions. Whether you're going to gym, but in relationship, you know, if you want to be in a relationship, you got to be ready to be in one. But yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's just the thing Same is, though, marriage, what, yeah, like for men, yeah, I think they need to talk about it more because Korea, the women talk about it so much, and that's why they educate each other a lot. Guys don't talk about guys, it at all. Like, also, also, guys, also, a lot of guys also, are like, I don't know what the fuck to talk about. I don't know how to handle myself. Like, I'm not saying you have to go to a fucking coach to figure it out, but yeah, simple dude. etiquette of having all these precursors in your mind. <laughs> yeah. 
not even a checklist, but just like an, an idea of the things you want in someone will help you a little bit. Yeah. Also, if you go to your, if, the, yeah, if you go the, to your the, friends, the, sorry to interrupt. Like, if you go yeah. to your friends, example, like girls have their group chats. They discuss it to the mm. death of it. Everything, but at least from that group chat, depth. different opinions come and you learn things. If we go to your lads chat, no one talks about it. That's the thing. But, but you see, the problem is right. Is it's one of them things where the the, the Upper Monday, right? Okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. They go go off and like desi girls and all of that. They do talk, talk and all, all of that. Not talk like as in like talking, but talk like literally like do having sex and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. But the way that they've been treated <laughs> and their perception of yeah. love for Indian girls, right? Punjabi yeah. girls, let's say, right? Completely changes because, you know, uh, I've dated some girls where their perception of love is something else compared to how it should be. You know what I mean? Where, where, I mean What's their perception? Should be. Their perception is sort of like... Perception. So, 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 so the perception, sorry, uh, of the girls is just like, okay, like sex, that's it, cool. That's like, that's your physical side of showing love or like materialistic views. That's it. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Take them to the shard, innit? Yeah, take them to the shard or whatever. You oh, know what I mean? Like, 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 but see, but okay. people's perception of what love is, look, is different. Everybody has different meanings of what love is, right? Some people, fair enough, they're entitled to their opinion if they think that is what love is, right? But Correct. it's sort of like you know, the, the the emotional side of it or like, you know, just even like being able to talk about like, you know, your feelings as per se, right? That's what women, when, when, there was a girl that I was just talking about upper our feelings and she was just like, eh, eh? Like not even like dungi al just just general feelings, right? She was like, eh, why are you even talking like this to me and all of that? Like they get surprised. You know what wow, I mean? Wow, that's really And weird. I'm just like, and, and, and for that, I was just like, whoa, like that's, that's very like weird. Like as to like, why somebody- you is weird. normal. Yeah, 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 literally, and I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't like oh, like things of like oh, I love you and all that. Da, 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 da. It was just generally just talking about my own emotions as a guy, mm-hmm. like just talking. Mm-hmm. And she found that weird, so I was just like, well, I do like, think guys have a bit of an unfair thing where they're always expected to like pay, yeah. hold down the conversation, start the conversation, have a witty line, have a mm-hmm. one liner, have a banging profile. Um, like. It's difficult. It's more difficult do the chase, now it? than what it used to be, and they have to do the chase. Some girls like the chase. Some girls make chase it go through the, the chase because they want to feel they want to feel validated. And I'm like, mm. bro, it sounds like a fucking sea of piranhas at times. Honestly, with so many traps you got to go through, like yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem pleasant at all. Mm. That's the thing. It's just dumb games like, oh, don't message too quick. You literally look like a villa on that. Like the whole point of a phone oh, yeah, gifted yeah, to you yeah, is yeah. to talk. But yeah. if you're gonna like put John K six hours, like I mean, shit, I was doing that as well because. It, people would it, it react it, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does it yeah, because, yeah. like, it like, makes you look things, busy. Have like double meaning and then certain number of kisses and Make, thoughts and yeah. all this shit, man. Jeez, man. It's just come out like the all other that side investigative and... stuff you look back through. You're like, right, it's gone cold. Where did it go cold? At what point? <laughs> but it's probably because <laughs> she's insane. messaging next man, and oh, she's hit it off with him, and now you're second. And now mm. that that fizzled out with him, she's coming back to you. It's like, yo, Kuriyan got like they got all the DMs. They got half of Punjab messaging them. That they got like Kalavanta, like Punjab, like six of them, like six likes on their profile. I mean, they got like fifty. This is this is. I've got I've got this. I followed this guy quite recently. His name's called Kevin Samuels. I don't know if you guys know about him, right? Kevin who? Kevin Samuels, right? He's sort of like a coach as well. Like he's sort of like a dating type coach, sort of like. Mm. to represent like people's characters and improve on that right so there was i was listening he does he does a lot of instagram lives and he did one point which was quite interesting and sort of controversial right he was talking about body count right and he was talking about the difference of like how yeah, different yeah. it is for a body count of a girl a female to have a body count of 10 as compared to a guy right yeah of course mm. it is and it's and like saying, if you shag 10 girls you're a lad if you yeah. shag 10 guys you're a slag see yeah yeah where's the logic so, but then, the, but then that's the thing. It's just like where he was talking about, like, okay, if a guy was going through, okay, getting those ten girls and he was having sex with those ten girls, right? He's probably had to have swag, some style, some play, or something like that, right? Whereas a girl is easy and they can just go with any guy that they want. Mm. So, oh, so they okay. have more selection and more choices in them, and, yeah. the, and the game, it's easier the for them. They got yeah. more game. <laughs> right. yeah. So, what's yeah, your point? Right. What's your views on that? I think that's pretty valid. To be fair, I mean. If a girl wants to go out and get laid at night at, at, at a club, it's very easy for them to do mm. so. If a guy wants to do it, it's, it's work. Mm. If a guy wants to do it, it's yeah, work. But you, could, you could say in the scenario of the guy, it just, just, takes a, uh, just takes a willing girl. There's no game if the girl wants it. No, 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 it isn't that. It's Okay, fair. But then equally, if a guy goes out with the intention of saying, I'm going to X club, 
to go and meet someone and take them home, yeah? Mm. The percentages are skewed compared to a girl that says, I'm going to go out and do the same thing. The girl is more likely to go home with, with a guy than mm. the guy will. Yeah, if you true. look at just like average by average guy, girl, ready. five out of 10 guy, five out of 10 girl, yeah? The five out of 10 girl is more likely to go home with someone. Honestly, that's how it is. That's true. Because the guys will be All of them have like equal persona levels, equal looks, equal height, mm. everything's the same. As they much are, as you yeah. can standardize it. They are, innit? They are, they are, innit? The willingness. The willingness is different. That's what you're saying. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's mad. Mm. We don't know how the future will be of dating or what happens because it leads on to marriage, you know? But-